Welcome to part three of our Maker Gear M2 assembly. Today we're going to be assembling the linear rail for the top, as well as the filament drive and the extruder motor. Let's get started. First, you're going to take your linear rail with 11 holes and place it onto the top of the Maker Gear. Line it up all the way to the black end stop and drop in your M3 by 16 screws and tighten with nuts. I'm going to tighten these and I'll be right back. Now that you've assembled the linear rail, it's time to assemble the X carriage and extruder. For the carriage, you're going to use this plate and this piece of plastic. This is going to trigger your X axis end stop. I've already placed the two M3 lock nuts into the bottom. To mount this, you're going to mount it in the back two holes on the end of the plate. Using two M3 by 16 bolts, slide it through the end stop trigger and through the plate. Tighten it down. I'll tighten these and I'll be right back. After you've mounted your end stop trigger, it's time to mount the belt. The belt assembly I have already assembled and I'll leave a link in the description to show how to do so. Place your M2 nuts into the back. Then, with the teeth facing out, it will slide into, under those four holes there. Using an M2 by 16 bolt, slide it through these four holes and tighten it. I'm going to tighten those four bolts and I'll be right back. Now you've got the belt on with the teeth facing out, it's time to mount the carriage. The carriage slides under these four holes. Also, under on top of those four holes, you need this printed part. These two countersunk holes do not require washers, however, these two do. Set this on top and place the bolts through it. The bolts are M3 by 12 bolts. Two go in the back, and two go in the front with washers. I'll tighten this up and I'll be right back. After you've mounted your carriage to and printed plastic part to the plate, it's time to mount the extruder motor. To mount the extruder motor, simply take the motor with the planetary gear drive and slide it through this hole. Make sure the pins are facing up. To mount the motor, you simply need two M4 by 35 bolts with washers. Take the bolt, put it through the washer, and slide it through the holes here. I've already put in the nuts on the back. Slide one in, do the same with the other, and tighten. I'll be right back when I've done so. After you've mounted the motor to the plastic part, it's time to slide the carriage onto the rail. Be careful when you're doing this, as the balls can come out of their sockets. Make sure the motor is facing towards the front of the machine. After you have done that, it's time to mount the end stop carriage. The carriage end stop. The carriage end stop is a M3 by 20 bolt that slides through the hole at the end of the carriage. You also need to use the large nylon spacer. Slide it through and tighten it down with a lock nut. This will prevent the carriage from coming off the end of the rail while you do the next step. The next step, we will mount the, the X motor. The X motor slides up through here and mounts with three M3 by 12 bolts. Yeah. You also need a washer for each of those bolts. So take the bolt, pass it through the washer, and slide it through the slot into the motor. There is one shorter bolt that will go into the, uh, into the slot with a larger groove. This is an M3 by 8 bolt. Also use a washer. And tighten. Don't 
Don't tighten too hard, actually. Don't tighten all the way yet, since you still have to slide the belt on. I'll tighten the other two, and I'll be right back. After you've slightly mounted this motor, it's time to mount the belt. Make sure, when you're mounting the belt, that the belt slides between these two parts, like so. Take the belt, put it over the back of the pulley, and then pull it in front of this other pulley. Next, put tension on this motor so the belt is nice and tight, and tighten down the motor. Now that you've tightened in this motor, it's time to assemble the filament drive. The filament drive will push the filament through the extruder and out onto your build. It will mount right here. Before we can do that, there are some things we have to do. There's an M4 by 16 black screw that will slide through the top of this part. Use a washer and an M4 lock nut to do this. Not lock nut, sorry, just regular nut. The nut sits in right in the back here and the bolt comes through the front. You don't have to tighten this all the way yet. Just make sure it is going all the way through into the nut. After you've done this, you can move on to the bearing. Using this bolt and this bearing, you will mount it right into this slide. I have already placed the M4 nut on the back. Slide the bearing into the slot, stick the bolt through the bearing, and tighten it. After you've done that, you're ready to mount the filament drive to the motor. To mount the filament drive to the motor, you're going to use two M3 by 25 bolts and washers. The bolts will, and the washers will slide through the bottom two holes here and here. Put the washer on the bolt and slide it in. And then tighten. Next, we're going to slide the hot end into place. The hot end slides into place in the bottom of the filament drive. Make sure the, the wires are coming out to the right. Take the, film, the hot end and push it in. It should fit snugly. After you've mounted your filament drive and hot end, it's time to mount the fans to the hot end and filament drive. Using your M3 by 40 bolt, Slide the fan cover to the side and stick it through the top left corner. We've already assembled one of the bolts for sake of saving time. After you've done that, just leave it there and we'll use it later. Next, take a washer, an M3 washer, and put it over the bottom left corner. Using an M3 by 22 bolt and your printed bracket, you're going to connect these all together by sliding the bolt through it. Put a, uh, put a nut on the end and tighten it. After you've done this, it's time to mount the large fan. The large fan will mount on top of this bracket. Before you do so, however, take an M3 washer and put it over the top left corner. After you've done that, you can mount it to the bracket using an M3 by 22 bolt. Stick the bolt through the fan and through the washer, through the bracket, and secure it with a nut. After you have done those two steps, you're ready to mount your fan assembly to the extruder. You will need a quarter inch nylon spacer on the back of the bolt, the M3x40. 
slide it into the top left corner onto the filament drive, into the motor, and then tighten. This concludes part three of our Maker Gear M2 assembly. If you have any questions, leave us a comment below. We'll see you in part four.